This one's uh, from Cleveland Browns on SI. Four Browns on the roster bubble before the preseason finale. They say mm. Michael Woods, wide receiver. Khalif Halise, uh, the cornerback. Siak Ika, D-tackle. And Naheem Hines, uh, the running back. Hines has been injured, so I, yeah. Woods probably falls into that numbers game. Halasi can play in the league if he if he's not on the fifty three. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna snatch mm -hmm. him up. Ika, he's probably fighting for for his uh, for his. I guess he could end up back on the practice squad as as a third round pick. But um, Hines, if he's healthy, he's he's gonna be on the roster and play. I think he plays meaningful snaps this year. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wonder how much it's been a, a, a misunderstanding of injury when you sign him, because I was under the understanding that we were going to see him by training camp. So for him to not be able to go this far into it, I just think they misevaluated. But there's enough on tape, and he's shown you who he is as a player, very valuable skill set. So when he is healthy, he will have a role on this roster, I have no doubt. So I don't view him as being on the bubble, in my opinion. Uh, the other players, you look at Michael Woods. I think Michael Woods is a NFL-quality receiver. Like you said, it's a numbers game, and if if the the Browns to keep him, they would either have to let go of Bell, which I don't think they'll do, or you're going to keep seven receivers. And if you do that, you're the seventh receiver. You have to play a meaningful role in special teams, and we just haven't seen that out of Woods so far in his career. Maybe that changes uh, behind the scenes, and they have more faith in him. But if not, probably a guy they try to get to the practice squad. He's put enough good on tape that it'll be close to see if he gets there or not. Um, the Siaka Ika. To me, it's malpractice if you do keep him, you know, unless he's a completely different player in practice than what he's putting on tape during these games, because what he's putting on tape during these games is flat out just not playable, you know, and I wasn't a fan when they drafted him, but I've not kept that biased. Like once I found out Jim Schwartz was the guy pounding the table to get Siaka, I let that go. I was like, all right, let's see him develop. And then we're into this. And I, in my opinion, he looks less playable now than he did last year. So I think it's going in the wrong direction. So I would I would assume uh, that it, they're seeing what we're seeing, and it's hard to let go of someone like Maurice Hurst in order to keep a guy that you really can't play. Yeah, uh, Khalif Velocity. I can't. Khalif Velocity is in the same position he was last year. He was someone who was on Kansas City's team. They tried to sneak him to the practice squad. We played him, so we snatched him up. I think that he's kind of in the same fate this year. I think they like what Miles Harden does, and he'll probably be the last corner into the room because he can play the slot, which is more of an immediate need. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think they'll try to get Halasi through, and I don't know if they will. He's, he looked pretty good on tape. Yeah, he certainly. And anytime he's had the opportunity to play, he's played pretty well.